check whether the given relation is an equivalence relation. Now here T is the set of all triangles in a plane RB a relation on T defined as ordered pair T1 T2 belongs to R if T1 is congruent to T2. If T1 is congruent to T2 then ordered pair T1 T2 belongs to R. Now here these triangles are congruent triangles. Now T1 is congruent to T1. Any triangle is congruent to itself. So this relation is a reflexive relation. When we consider two triangles T1 and T2. T1 T2 belongs to R implies T1 is congruent to T2. Then automatically T2 is congruent to T1. So this relation is symmetric. Now consider three triangles. T1 is congruent to T2. T2 is congruent to T3. Then automatically this T1 is congruent to T3. So this relation is transitive. So this relation R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So it is an equivalence relation. T consists set of all triangles. Now relation R is defined as set of all T1, T2 when T1 is congruent to T2. So here we have some triangles. Now this T1 is congruent to T2. T8 is congruent to T9. Corresponding sides are equal. T8 is congruent to T9. T10 is congruent to T11. So R consists ordered pairs T1, T2, T1, T3 etc. And T8, T9. Ordered pair T8, T9 etc. And here we have ordered pair T10, T11. Now this R does not consist ordered pair T1, T8. Because T1 is not congruent to T8. T2 is not congruent to T9. So ordered pair T2, T9 not belongs to R. R consists ordered pairs T1, T2 such that T1 is congruent to T2. Consider L set of all lines in the plane. Now consider a relation R defined on this set L as L1, L2 belongs to R if L1 is perpendicular to L2. L1, L2 belongs to R if L1 is perpendicular to L2. Consider a line L1. This line is L1. L1 is perpendicular to L2. And here we have another line L3. Now we have to check whether this relation is equivalence relation. Now clearly consider the line L1. L1 is not perpendicular to L1. L1 is not perpendicular to L1. So L1, L1 not belongs to R. So R is not reflexive. Now consider L1 and L2. L1 is perpendicular to L2. L1, L2 belongs to R. So L1 perpendicular to L2 which implies L2 perpendicular to L1. So when L1, L2 belongs to R, L2, L1 belongs to R. So R is symmetric. Now consider L1 perpendicular to L2 and L2 perpendicular to L3. Then clearly from this figure L1 is parallel to L3. L1 is not perpendicular to L3. So L1, L3 not belongs to R. So this R is not transitive. So this given relation is not reflexive, not transitive. It is symmetric. Since it is not reflexive, this relation is not an equivalence relation. Now consider a problem show that the relation R in the set set given by R equal to set of all ordered pairs AB such that 2 divides A minus B. 2 divides A minus B. Now these are some elements of R. Set this relation R equal to set 1, 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 which is divided by 2. 1, 3. Difference between 1 and 3 is 2 which is divisible by 2. 1, 5, 1, 7, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 3 etc. Then we when we take 0 
0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, minus 2, 0, minus 4, etc. 1 to not belongs to R because 1 minus 2 is minus 1 which is not a divisible by 2. 1 minus 4 is minus 3 which is not divisible by 2. 1, 4 not belongs to R. 2, 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1 which is not divisible by 2. So, 2, 3 not belongs to R. 2, 5 not belongs to R, etc. Now, in general, A minus A is 0 which is divided by 2. So, ordered pair A, A belongs to R. For all, A belongs to Z. So, R is reflexive. Now, when A, B belongs to R, 2 divides A minus B which implies 2 divides B minus A. So, B A belongs to R for all A B belongs to Z. So, R is symmetric. Now, consider two elements A B B C belongs to R. A B belongs to R implies 2 divides A minus B. B C belongs to R implies 2 divides B minus C. Now, we have A minus C equal to A minus B plus B minus C. Now, A minus B is divisible by 2. B minus C is divisible by 2. Their sum is divisible by 2. So, this A minus C is divisible by 2. So, A C belongs to R. So, R is transitive. So, this relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So, it is an equivalence relation. Now, consider this set 0. This set is known as equivalence class. It consists 0. And this set consists all the elements which are related to 0. Elements related to 0 are 0, 2, 4, minus 2, minus 4, 6, minus 6, etc. Now, set of all those elements const constitute a class which is known as equivalence class. Equivalence class which consists 0. Now, consider equivalence class with 1 set of all elements which are related to 1. This is the set minus etc minus 3 minus 1 1 3 etc. So, these two are the equivalence classes when we consider the relation R. Now, consider another relation R set of all ordered per A B such that absolute value of A minus B is a multiple of 3 or 3 divides A minus B. Now, here we get three equivalence classes. Equivalence class with 0. Elements which are related to 0. Elements which are related to 1. And elements which are related to 2. Now, these elements are of the form 3R. And this is 3R plus 1. And here we have 3R plus 2. These are three equivalence classes. Okay, thank you.